I get anything <laughs> off of that? Oh, sorry, you put it above Lilith for some reason. That's weird. I was looking, right, have you managed to roll 98 again? No, it's 56. No, yeah. that's Casper's. No, that's Casper's. Uh, yeah, I haven't forward. rolled yet. Oh. I don't know if I'm just rolling. Oh, yeah, get a plus 10 for each of if it's your home ground. 57. You see, yeah. this, is, this is just classic apostate dice occurring <laughs> here. <laughs> it really that was is. against uh, 60, by the way. Oh, so nothing. Okay. Nothing for good except success. Well, it's nothing that you've heard of. There's no kind of outward trade anyway. There's always this kind of like downward trade where, you know, they always need fresh infomorphs and uh, stuff yeah, like that. Night Cartel's always got something going on. Yeah, well, there's the kind of like the, uh, the morphs that work, the minor surface, the indentured morphs. Um, so they get people get stuck in horrible kind of like half rock morphs um, to pay off their oh, for a body. Oh, morphs, yeah. morphs. Those actually rule a lot. Yeah, they're super <laughs> slow, but they're the toughest morph in the game. They're, it's and great. they're completely useless anywhere but Venus's surface. Basically, I mean, yeah, they, but basically they traffic egos in, and they also get, uh, traffic egos out. Yeah, but not the type of person you're looking for. They just tend because people here with disappearing are already established with their own morphs. Um, the main trade on Venus is for people who are desperate for a body. Okay. As big um, as Mars, but yeah. It's still pretty big. So I the can people contact who, my yeah, the, people. Hold up. The people who come back because apparently they they don't stay gone for long or they don't always stay gone. Do they come back like changed? Do they come back like having any experience, like knowledge of the experience at all, or? Uh, well, most of the thing is that people who are watching them just said they come. They come back. Yeah, this is yeah. The, this is a conspiracy forum you're on. It's more kind of like it's it, as, I, far, I, as, they as all far as the forum's concerned. Yes, they come back as complete crazies. No, the thing is, is that the the conspiracy the, for conspiracy forums, you get a lot of conclusions, but you're just trying to sift the facts from them. Yeah, I. I mean. I, I asked if they if the people were different after they come back. They, yeah, and they we don't know that yet. Don't know that like they didn't yeah. pay attention to that at all. They, they don't know. They they back. say everything on the conspiracy says they come back weird, but it's on a conspiracy okay. forum. Also, right. a lot of things about the Illuminati. Yeah. believe. And the Illuminati ain't shit. <laughs> they're, no. they're just n like one of many uh, secret societies that have existed for ages, buddy. Let me tell you, there are tons of those. Anyway, so our our what's our handler saying? <laughs> Basically, they they want you to he wants you to get in, see if this is just like normal info napping or if there's anything like more serious to it. It's the fact that you know skilled people are disappearing, um, but it's seemingly random. There's like a, a massive skill base that's being pl plucked out, which is what's triggered the um, the alert. So, it might be nothing, it might be something, it's your job to find out. It might be something to know about. Yeah, it's Firewall, half the things that you look at are nothing. Yep, but, well, but, that's but, the way we like it, because yeah. it means humanity is going to survive. Yep, but the ones, the ones that are something have to be shut down really quickly. Before they go bad. Yep. X threats mm -hmm. are no joke. Which are not just, yeah. X threats, existential threats to humanity. There's a reason why they are called existential threats. <laughs> well, I think humanity does a good run. I'm sure it, no one will miss it. It's mostly because we're trying to preserve humanity in some form that which is functional besides, you know, getting into a... Because we're in a high... Do? Okay, we're just in a high evolution... Happen. We're in a high evolutionary state. The thing is that there's a lot of genetic dead ends out there. I mean? Yeah. So... Um, you're coming in towards the station now. Um, so, if you, what kind of equipment are you bringing in? Oh, do we have any, um, is there any contacts we have on station to meet? Uh, no, they're not giving you any. Uh, safe houses? Uh, there is a link to, they've rented you out, uh, kind of like, apartment area, short term. Um, I'm going to look up, uh, the policy on, like, equipment that Hebrides has. Yeah, I would say I don't think I 
like unless there's really a thing against the guns, I think I can take in most of my stuff. Let me see what I. Have. Uh, what sort of role would that be in order to figure out what the rules for that are? Oh, it would be a role. It's pretty. It'll be something they broadcast as you're coming in. Because they're not going to say, oh, oh, yeah, we didn't tell you this is all illegal. Please, uh, please leave behind all of your X and Ys. Yes. Please leave behind so, uh, all of your dangerous uh, morphs and stuff like that. Um, um, large, large scale guns, um, small, like, self protection guns are allowed, but they have to be registered. Um, which mine is? Is it small? It's a handgun. Eh. I, I can. Is I can it a seeker gun? It is not. <laughs> I have. I, I'll register my my personal defense weapon. Yeah, personal defense. Sorry, flash. You can't flash his passport. Yeah. Um, no, but this this only like you know uh, a thing to firearms or do I need to? Uh, firearms. Any? Um, anything that could damage the aerostat, like explosives, stuff like that. That's those are forbidden. Uh, oh, okay. Combat morphs. Probably should, probably should leave my EMP grenades back. Yeah, then. stuff like Define that. combat morphs. Um, basically anything that is designed for war over, like, general... Good thing I'm not in a fury, then. Okay. Yeah, fury they... Yeah. Ghosts, like I said before, ghosts are also visually indistinguishable from, like, exalts and splicers, so you're fine. Yeah. So, um, yeah. like... Sniper rifle? Yes, no? No, sniper rifle. Yeah, no. Like, no. no. That is not a self-defense weapon. That is a... Yeah. But it's my baby. I'm fine. It's a preemptive uh, self-defense weapon. <laughs> preemptive self-defense. <laughs> uh, uh, we kill I, many things. I should be fine we... with my pistol and uh, knife, then. Yeah, yeah I'll just take my normal pistol. I'll make a case that I have to be protected at all times, because there's, there's so many people out do, there who could... Do uh, I... Can I keep both them. my... Can I keep both my real guns? Rail and guns. guns. And Rail guns. guns are probably a no go because that can punch a hole through yeah. the wall. No, it can't. Not really. Uh, Not really. No. The outer no, walls no, and no. the stats. Rail are guns are good. actually pretty normal so long as yeah. you're not using like a rifle. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, they're, it's just, they're just two, my, my two, both my little friend, my little heavy rail, rail pistols, pistols aren't weird, like at all. Those are yeah. fine, honestly. Yeah. That's what I'm packing, by the way. Okay. Mine is just a normal heavy pistol. It is by the way, not so where do, a rail weapon so, at all. Where can I store my sniper rifle, then? Your sniper rifle can probably be stored on the ship. Or they'll have an impound. Have, you. you have a briefcase. Alright, I, I will I will, I will will get a receipt for the impound. Yes, yeah, so the ship will be leaving on its run. Cause it's, a, it's a public kind we, of ship. We don't own the ship. Uh, but yeah, they, there I'll... is an impound for illegal... Well, stuff that's illegal here, but not illegal in the system. Because they're used to people coming in. Yeah, I'll go and just... To, is a register of my two guns, the regular pistol and the real pistol. Yeah. So customs is customs as it's always been. You know, scanning you, asking if you bought any, you know, fruits and vegetables or, you know, stuff state stolen from Earth. Have you packed your own bags? Yeah. Did anybody else pack your bags? Have you not looked at your bags since you got here? Uh if they're doing scans, does my cyber claws bring up or no? It's fine, because it's an implanted okay. weapon that they cannot immediately remove, and also it is not any more dangerous than, like, a knife, really. Yeah. Okay. This is a, a frontierish kind of place. It's, you know, mining, research, um, so... Uh, do they do a brain scan? Probably not. To verify ID. That, that is whole, hilariously... No uh, problem we uh, accept your ego ID, but... Yeah. This is, you know, it's not massively high security. Okay. Do they ask me any weird questions? Uh, they kind of... ask why you're wearing an old suit. Yeah. They'll be asking you questions about morph status. Because it's, a, it's an abnormal morph. They're not used to it. They don't know if it's, like, dangerous. You know, can you fire bits of yourself off as bombs and stuff like that? No, none of them are explosive. Yeah, there are morphs that, that do that. Is just gonna, like, sort well, of I mean, there are custom builds. Like, don't uh. give them ideas. It, you know, he's just a, uh, he, just a horror movie hipster. Saw the thing at one time, loved it. Uh, my.
Alright, still going. Oh, there you go. That was weird. <laughs> you got out mid sentence, and we were all waiting for you to carry on. I, just yeah, I thought I actually went out. <laughs> yeah, same yeah. thing. I think Ygmir did go out. Yeah. No, I'm here. Oh. You weren't talking. Oh. Which is unusual. Uh, while I wait in the line for this, I um, make a formal request to my muse to conjure up a piano for me. Mm -hmm. And I just play for my own amusement. I don't know. In your brain? Purely digital piano. Mm. Uh, I'm going to request to be uh, no access to that output, if possible. Stream it over on my end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I enjoy it. What's that? What's that piano score? The midnight for something? Night the sonata. Night sonata. Yeah. Yeah. So, Every after what seems like far too long, you're cleared. <laughs> okay. It will start hopping down uh, impatiently, eventually. Yeah, it, it, and pout. it's just a long time. So You can tell they're just like dragging this out to get the day. Yeah, so it looks like they're doing some work. Aye. Not many shuttles arriving. Alright. After that, I, you'll get no, 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 a shuttle no. down. I, I, okay. All right, so at some point halfway through, I'm going to start, like I said, I hop up and down impatiently and I start to pout a little bit. And then, like, once they don't, uh, like, pay attention to that at all, I'm going to start talking with them. Hi, um, we're kind of busy and in, uh, in a hurry right now. Could you speed this up at all? Oh, yes, sure. Uh, we'll just need you to step this way for, you know, a, a quick, you know, scan. Special, special check, you know. I will go ahead and willingly do that, because there's nothing I have to worry about. Yeah. You've basically got yourself into the the, um, the more for research section. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can give you a quick uh, readout of all of my characters' implants if you need me to. No, I'm fine. Because there's a lot of them. <laughs> avoid, this, avoid. This will take, avoid, a, this will take the guys some, some time. <laughs> Yeah, they'll just, when they see how much you've got, they'll just kind of go, yeah, go on. Yeah, you yeah. don't hassle airport security. You'll, you'll, um, then be able to board a transport to Hebrides and get sent on the way towards the Aristat. Finally. Okay. Yeah, you finally arrived. Oh, we're. Oh, okay, cool. I'm really glad I only probably weigh like 30 pounds to start with on Earth gravity, because damn. Oh, Abe's probably huffing and puffing real hard now. Oh, hold up. I actually wrote down her weight, I think, because... <coughs> You've been working on this character for six months? Yeah. <laughs> she asked a little. You know. I am a very heavy ape man, but I'm also a very tough, strong ape man. So this is as light as possible, so he can actually fly in this gravity. That, that could become useful. <laughs> what is the uh, gravity of Venus, by the way? Point nine Gs. Oh, it's so oh, it's lighter. It's almost exactly Earth gravity, yeah. But when you're dealing with um, habitat zero G, and uh, you're going to get a, it's you, you're not really getting a full G is pretty rare. Yeah, I'm saying it's almost exactly Earth gravity, so it's it's because it's Venus. Venus is almost exactly Earth size when you get down to it. It's just slightly smaller. So why were people talking about high gravity? It is high gravity for the solar it's system. It's high gravity oh, relative well, to the yeah, rest of the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When you're dealing with zero G most of the time. They've probably been increasing <sighs> the gravity on the shuttle as you get closer. Man, I oh. that that's actually not possible. Yeah, phase. mostly so it's had a layover on Gerlach. The only artificial gravity that exists in a close phase is um, centrifugal, like artificial, you know, spin related. You spin relates things. So a lot of they the had to fuck been. with. Uh, they had to fuck with the inner ears of Morphs for that to be possible, because otherwise the it would be incredibly disorienting for it, for that to work. Oh, uh, gray. Yep. Does security give me any hassle? 
Or probably not. Not any more than any of the rest of us. They're yeah, not hassling you. They're just like processing oh. you slowly. I only ask because Lilith, being a gamma async, has two disorders, two mental disorders. One of which is megalomania. Mm -hmm. So I am very, very easily slighted. Well, Actually, she can't <laughs> slide them right back because all of her slides are passive. Hey, oh, that's not what I meant. I know. It's a joke, though. We'll, we'll not start fighting with security in the first session. Okay. Not, not yet, yet, anyway. <laughs> Guys, why are we having trouble with security? Can't we just get along? Look, look, look! Can we just at least get to our get to the house, our, our rental for things happen before you know have skip going loud yep i don't think we have been have we been set up with a rental house yeah they set, yeah. They set you up with a, a little rental safe house there's not nothing like tech there or gear there but it's somewhere you can sleep it is a place are, are to just being like given an apartment is the idea right yeah are or we all being forced to live in one apartment it's probably an apartment that's big enough to house six people. Yeah. No, it's a studio apartment. It is. It is firewall. <laughs> it's not a clean. It's not like a, a fancy one, but it does have separate rooms. It's workable. Yeah. Space is a premium, though, and plus, like half of us don't actually have to sleep. All right. So. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Um, there'll be a, a lovely selection of like the finest standard food. Ah, ooh! There's a maker just Pace. around the corner. Yeah. Cornucopia machine. No cornucopia machine. Uh, Faber. So Venus is in a system, so it you know requires some money. Oh God, um, I got some money. Eh, but oh, wait, Venus, I have money. Venus is uh in her system, but it's mostly control of a more in star constellation. Which yeah. is to say, it actually does uh, utilize rep as well quite a bit. Yeah, it is. It is a uh, transitional economy between the two. Yeah, the bigger makers still need credits, but that's a safety thing. Yeah. And so, to the to the accent, I'm just going to expend, uh, you know, the trivial, you know, rep uh, requirements to to get fed because this is a thing about Thursday. Uh, her morph has an insanely powerful. Uh, Insanely powerful metabolic systems going on. She has hyper metabolism really hard. It needs to uh, eat like two to three times as much as an adult human does. So, yeah, a lot. On top of that, she has is... a boosted, uh, like boosted behavior to eat because otherwise she will not eat as much as she's required to. What even is food? Food is what you consume to get energy to uh, for your body to work correctly. So your food would be, uh, hmm. Actually, how do swarmanoids get power? Probably solar. Yeah, swarmanoids are probably solar. You're right. The thing is, the things you do. You, yeah. It's the things you do to replace the drones you lose. <laughs> That's what the uh, nanobots are for. Yeah, what do they eat? The other nanobots. <laughs> the nanobots swarming over the microbots. <laughs> you know that stuff the nanobots use to make new microbots? Recursive. Oh, That's God. Food. <laughs> Plus the occasional corpse of the pe people you kill. Yeah. That oh. has a, that has oh, a hey, nobody oh. knows about that yet. Ah. Oh. <laughs> And besides, that's uh, that's that's organic carbon based. Are you, are you better... trying to imply that you secretly bought disassemblers? I did not buy disassemblers. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Be... All right. So you get yourself settled. You've basically got a bed, um, a small One cupboard bed. each. Yeah. You you couldn't swing a cat in these rooms. Especially with Where a gorilla. Now? I and, can form the shape of a cat. At least two of us are small. Yeah. All right. So two of us are small. One of us isn't even a solid being. So. Um. Okay. So I on that, is it possible solid. to 
to check the conspiracy blog to see if any one of those, um, they, if there's any names of a person who has disappeared and that has reappeared. We've probably got names from the uh, the briefing, to be yeah. honest. That's right. Uh, I should head up to. my rep. I, I should head up my contacts. Right. The names you're given, I'm going to copy them in. Wolf Board, Brand Erickson, and Amelia Asink. Wolf Board. Uh, wow. And... I... Hmm, two... Amelia Asink. Two of these are... very Scandinavian. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a Scandinavian aerostat. Okay, uh, so we should track down any of these three, if like, or relatives, or you know, contacts of any of these three. Yep. And to that end, I will go ahead and start to do a research check, I guess, to uh, to look up like public listings of fa like family relations uh, that exist in the Aristat or whatever. <laughs> If I have to do some kind of infosec too at some point, because this is not completely public knowledge, but it prob probably is. Yeah. All right, so research. I'm going to get my muse, Casimir the Great, uh, oh. to help out with that. Casimir the Great takes the form of a tiny albino snake uh, that was wearing a crown and a tiny fur cape and is super adorable. You know what I don't I have? I do not have uh, research as a skill. Huh. Nice. You just, you know uh, have? you work yeah. off of research papers that other people have written. Oh, so yep. you have yep. Muse. Y you know what I have? Two Muses. So, um... This is, um... Awkward silence. No, I was just gonna say, uh, real quick, um... I'm sorry, I paused it. That is it. versus 80. Damn it. Can, oh, I should have asked for someone else to help out. Oh, well. Yeah, it's not a double. No, it's yeah, I, I guess. Hmm. Nothing on the public. And they're no. not listed anywhere. Weird. You're, so, you're they... actually searching Mars. That's your problem. Oh, my God. They're not listed anywhere. I spend a bunch of time ranting at Faust whether or not he actually picks up about the poor quality of the domicile that he chose for us and that two of us at least are far too important to be left to rot in a place as shitty as this. What the <laughs> hell is he thinking? God, at least damn. two of us. It's up to you. Which two? Um... Question on the on the blog. Did the blog give any uh like na a indication of any of the people who returned? Well, if you check in the right. blog now, the latest one, one of those people has actually returned. Yeah. Um. So Amelia, the uh, who is a local politician, went missing about three weeks ago and re returned about a week and a half ago. All right. Can I get a? Can I use interest political figures to uh, research or to? Yep. That seems like a perfect profile. Team. Yeah, you get her like Facebook or whatever it's you know equivalent to the mesh thing, uh, which is basically showing you know she's a lo running for like a councillor in the local districts. Um, she wants to push hard to improve people's uh, livelihood, um, extend is the there, decks upwards. Is there any, like, difference between what she was, what she was couching before at pre and post, uh, abduction? It's only been a week or so, so not really. Disappearance, more Disappear like. Yes. Oh, regardless, she sounds like our, uh, our person we should talk, go talk to. Yeah. Our first. No. Oh. Oh. Um, so. Uh, what would the uh, um, favor scale be for the information I requested? Oh, the uh, the previous stuff? Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious. Probably 
like if you ask me that probably which one is between moderate and trivial the low co- the low one the low favor yeah. it'd probably just be that okay i would have still missed it by 8 but not by that much okay all right good to know because it's uh you get a bonus for every level it's plus 10 for every level you're going bef- below what you're capable of doing right yeah so if you have 80 then if you're going for the low one that's plus 30 yes i think yeah that's right. That's what I remember. So that means that whenever I roll the uh, fame, if I am going for moderate or lower, I have guaranteed to do it. All right. So one is return figure. Want to run a surveillance on her, or do you want to do? You want to actually talk to them? I you want to actually talk to her. You know, you could actually talk to her. I'm good at it. You want to I, use I your give you a little or, bit of a. I give you a little want, bit of a smile. You want to try using your magical charms and your reputation to see if you can get a. I, I don't wouldn't know, call them magical. Comparison, in comparison to me, it is. But anyway. Uh, anyway, keep me posted your... with what's going on with what we're supposed to be doing. Um, I'm going to speak to my local contacts or allies of my local contacts whichever in case I am in need of material or somewhere to sleep try to set up a nice little supply network yeah so I'm rolling against 80 I right, see so be able to sort out a few places nothing special but yeah, there's someone someone who's got your back if something goes wrong. A lady of your stand, a stature needs her own apartment, her own dressing room. Very much so. Yeah, they sort you out something. Bit nicer, anyway. bit, bit closer to the um, the air, where there's actual natural light. Anyway, I think Thursday, being a celebrity, could probably, uh, since she is a I'm fine with thing. being here. Okay. Just as long as I have access to enough to eat. No, yeah. it's it's. I was gonna say you could probably swing an interview or a conversation with her just to uh, talk to her. The plit the. All right, so that means that I have to go one of two routes, right? I have to either fake it, uh, or I could actually try and um, like do an actual interview with her because I could probably swing that too. Like, I would have uh, to do that, though, I would have to kind of announce my presence on the Aerostat and, like, an app. Like, is a bad plan. Which is, you know, publicly show off that, yeah, th- you know, Thursday, a uh, famous lun- Lunarian idol or whatever actor is here to, uh, to, uh, to talk to people on this, on the Aerostat and check out what's going on here or something. I mean, like that. you could, you could show up, you could do a, um, you could have a setup with your agency to, do a uh, like a signing tour or something like that. I mean, we are a conspiracy, so we do have some cover for our presence. Oh, speaking of, my apologies, Miss Thursday, but for the duration of our stay here, I do not know you. Oh, oh, okay. My that... people know I'm here, so mm-hmm. if it should come up, I mean, the one thing nothing about nothing personal, enough. but yeah. Uh, and I, the one, mm, but yeah, I understand. The one thing about celebrity and fame is that people expect celebrities to act like celebrities. So anything a celebrity does is passed you don't on have to tell me celebrity. about it. You don't have to say like, "Come on." Okay, I'm. I do apologize. I get a little bit long-winded. All right. Hmm. All right, so we do have to decide whether or not I want to do that, like, officially or kind of fake wanting to do an interview with her or something like that. Yeah. Because we have uh-huh. to do it either secretly or publicly, and the information that we get out of her probably should not be announced publicly. Uh, I'm going to have something for more my people. Uh, see if there's any information they can give me directly. An in-person meeting tends to... Be more intimidating. Well, if you want to put it that way. I'm certain if 
I cannot uh, draw the information from them, uh, B will, will be able to. Or just threat of. We're probably more effective. 